In the year 100 BC, the noble lady Aurelia Cotta gave birth to a baby, Gaius Julius Caesar, a name that would echo through eternity. Julius grew up in Rome during a period of political upheaval. His family, the Julii, belonged to the senatorial aristocracy. In his youth, he received an education in rhetoric, literature, and philosophy, which laid the foundation for his later oratorical skills. At the age of 16, he faced the challenge of managing the family affairs after his father's death. During this time, Caesar developed a reputation for his intelligence, charisma, and ambition. The ambitious boy Gaius Julius married at only 17. His chosen wife was the daughter of the notorious Lucius Cornelius Cinna. Cornelius Cinna. This marriage created challenges when a certain Lucius Cornelius Sulla took over the power in Rome. Both Caesar's father-in-law and his dead uncle Marius opposed Sulla before Sulla eventually ordered Caesar to divorce from his wife, Cornelia. Refusing to comply, Julius Caesar went into hiding for a time to avoid Sulla's wrath. Upon returning from exile around 78 BC following the death of Sulla, Caesar faced a changed political landscape in Rome. The dictator's death marked the end of the proscriptions and purges that had targeted political opponents, including some of Caesar's family members. Caesar entered politics and began his climb through the ranks. He aligned himself with the popularist faction, advocating for the interests of the common people. Despite facing financial difficulties and the burden of Sulla's debt, Caesar's oratorical skills and political acumen helped him navigate the complexities of Roman politics. Julius Caesar became consul of Rome for the first time in 59 BC. He shared the consulship with Marcus Calpurnius Bibulus. This political alliance known as the First Triumvirate was formed between Caesar, Pompey and Crassus to consolidate their power and influence in Roman politics. The consul even married his only daughter Julia to his political ally, Pompey. In 58 BC, Caesar was appointed as governor of the Roman provinces of Gaul, where he conducted his great military campaign known as the Gallic Wars. Over the next several years, Caesar showed military brilliance and achieved significant military successes, greatly expanding Roman territory. As Caesar's influence and military accomplishments grew, so did the concerns among his political opponents in Rome. The eventual breakdown of the Triumvirate, combined with Pompey aligning himself with the Senate, set the stage for the conflict that would lead to the Roman civil war between Caesar and Pompey, ultimately culminating in Caesar's crossing of the Rubicon River in 49 BC and the subsequent civil war. Long story short, Caesar beat Pompey in all battles and became the most powerful man in Rome. Julius Caesar's reign as dictator was marked by significant political and social changes. He passed laws to provide land to veterans, enacted debt relief measures, and reformed the calendar, introducing the Julian calendar. Caesar's relationship with Cleopatra, the queen of Egypt, became a source of controversy. He spent time in Egypt with Cleopatra and even had a child with her. This fueled suspicions and contributed to the political tensions in Rome. While officially holding the title of dictator, Caesar's rule exhibited characteristics of a monarch. He concentrated power in his hands and sought to diminish the influence of the Senate. Some of his actions, such as appointing magistrates without Senate approval, raised concerns among traditionalists. On March 15, 44 BC, Julius Caesar was assassinated by a group of Roman senators led by Brutus and Cassius. The conspirators justified their actions as an attempt to preserve the Roman Republic and prevent Caesar from becoming a perpetual dictator or even king. Julius Caesar might have been the greatest all-round genius who ever lived. His death didn't lead to the restoration of the Roman Republic. Instead, it led to the rise of the greatest empire in human existence.